I'm Kathy Renwald for Wheels.ca. Now, as much as I like to drive luxury SUVs, the Subaru Crosstrek makes all the sense in the world to me. It's relatively inexpensive. It has everything you need, the all-wheel drive, high ground clearance, kind of a rugged, good-looking car, and I think it'd be excellent for urban exploring, for poking around in places you shouldn't be, but you want to be. The Subaru fits the rugged landscape of Hamilton's industrial core. I really like driving it here because the Crosstrek's purposeful looks and absence of bling attracts no unwanted attention. The industrial turn-of-the-century architecture in Hamilton makes a perfect backdrop to admire the Crosstrek's smooth-shaven profile. A passive-aggressive front end looks wide and solid against an idle smokestack. My tester was the Crosstrek with Sport Package. That's an upgrade from the touring level, but not quite as swanky as the Limited. Highlights of the Sport Bundle include a cheeky rear spoiler, a tilting and sliding sunroof good for leaf peeping, and of course, Bluetooth audio streaming. 17-inch rims are standard issue. Some say they look too flowery. I like them. It's easy to spot your Crosstrek from many furlongs away. The Impreza wagon is the organ donor for the Crosstrek. The Trek gets more ground clearance and the hunter-gatherer cladding. The Subaru Crosstrek has 148 horsepower. Now that's not a lot by today's standards, but it's enough and you get used to it. I also like that it has a tight turning circle, so it is really good to drive in the city, various parking situations, etc. Of course, Subarus are shaped for the sporting life, so the Crosstrek has the ever-capable full-time all-wheel drive. The Crosstrek is getting a flogging for its continuously variable transmission. I generally dislike their hollow performance. In the Crosstrek, I didn't mind it, and you can pretend shift it with steering wheel mounted paddles. The CVT improves fuel consumption, and the Subi supplies echo graphics to convince you. Give the interior marks for logical layout, useful knobs instead of buttons, and good seats. The Crosstrek moves beyond Subaru's usual man cave interiors. But pairing a phone is too difficult. Help! Add phone! Cancel. You'll have to close the hatch the old-fashioned way by hand, but the action is easy and the cargo floor is flat for easy loading. So score a touchdown for the Subaru Crosstrek. I'm Kathy Renwald for Wheels.ca.